Currently, the Navy's aircraft carrier force consists of 11 CVNS, including 10 Nimitz-class carriers, CVNs 68 through 77, and those ships entered service between 1975 and 2009, and one Gerald R. Ford-class, CVN 78-class carrier, which was commissioned into service on July 22, 2017. USS Gerald R. Ford was procured in fiscal year 2008, and according to FY 2021 budget estimates cost approximately $13.3 billion. The future USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN 78, will represent the future of naval aviation and will be the most advanced and capable aircraft carrier ever built. The carrier is the last generation of U.S. Navy aircraft carriers and will replace the aging Nimitz class on a one-for-one -one basis as new carriers enter service. USS Gerald R. Ford is armed with two RIM-162 ESSM launchers, two RIM-116 RAM, three Phalanx CIWs, and four M2.50 Cal machine guns. All of these were used in the recent CSSQT. The RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missile is a medium-range surface-to-air missile designed and manufactured by the American-based defense contractor Raytheon Missile Systems. Each missile can be launched from a quad-pack canister for the MK-41 VLS Shipborne Launching System or via a single pack for the MK-29 Trainable Launcher and MK-48 Guided Missile VLS. The RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow has an operational range of 50 kilometers and can fly at a speed of Mach 4 or roughly four times the speed of sound. The small lightweight RIM-166 rolling airframe missile is an infrared homing surface-to-air missile. It was developed as a cooperative program with General Dynamics Pomona and Valley Systems in the 1970s under an agreement with Denmark and West Germany. With an operational range of 10 kilometers, it is a fire and forget platform that can be against anti-ship cruise missiles and asymmetric air and surface threats. The power generation capabilities of the Gerald Ford, CVN 78, class vastly exceed those of the previous Nimitz class carriers. In the short term, this may not mean much, although it will certainly make some tasks easier, including emails, the new electromagnetic launch system. In the longer term, this extra power generation capacity may make lasers an effective tool for air defense. With the post-Cold War cancellation of the A-12 Avenger, and the retirement of the A-6 intruder, the USN's carrier force has lacked a long-range strike option. The Navy has replaced this capability with the Tomahawk missile, a system that poses considerably less risk to its operators than a manned aircraft. The USN has also focused on in-flight refueling as a way of extending the range of its fighter bombers, although this practice has strained the airframes of many of the Navy's planes.